This decision say they have advocated hard and waited patiently for this to become a reality for a number of years. They say only now can thousands of young people truly come out of the shadows of society. For people like Carlos Castro, the Obama administration's policy change on immigration is a dream finally realized. Carlos was just five when his family came to this country from Ecuador. The now 25-year-old graduate of Sheldon High School says while classmates were getting driver's licenses and applying to colleges, he was forced to keep his story a secret. Because you can't really tell everybody or anybody that you're not documented because you're scared they might go tell somebody that's going to come and then all of a sudden deport you. So you pretty much keep that a secret. Carlos was among a group of young people at Yale Law School as members of the group Connecticut Students for a Dream, or C4D, met the media today. The group calls last week's announcement a moment in history, but not a permanent solution to the immigration debate. This didn't come out of nowhere. It took years to build the pressure, to design the strategy, and to really push and to organize people. The stories of us coming out last year and individuals coming out nationwide really created the space for us to push. And that successful push is a life changer for people like Carlos, who tells us he was detained and almost deported as recently as three weeks ago. To critics of the DREAM Act, Carlos has this response. If you're not Indian American, then are you really anything else but an immigrant? Follow your tree, your, your life tree, you know? Go down it, see where you come from. I'm pretty sure you're not American, probably English, Italian, maybe Portuguese or Russian, or Irish, you know? Yeah, you're white, but still an immigrant like everybody else. Of course, there has already been a lot of pushback from Republican lawmakers about the Obama administration's decision to change policy. One Senate leader called it possibly illegal. That in addition to a New York congressman who says he's considering filing a lawsuit in hopes of stopping it from ever being implemented. Sonia, back to you.